everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another reaction. Um, first of all, before anyone asks, yes I am constantly looking into the viewfinder. Wearing a pink silk suit and if you're gonna ask why, it's because I want to. <laughs> It's good to know that- Is it good to know? Because I'm really excited now, and if it's not good to know, I'm clicking off this channel right now. Good to know that where I used to live before, what I wanted to wear would be considered overdressing. People would ask me like, where are you going dressed like that? And I'd just be like, nowhere, this is just what I dress like. And it would make me feel really uncomfortable versus now, where I live, this is just considered casual attire and I fucking love it. So that's why. Anyway, can you imagine 10K a month and you wake up at 2 p.m. every day? Do you know what time I wake up since I've moved? I wake up at 6.30. And I still have a pretty good job. YouTube. And like a pretty good, like comfy lifestyle, I would say. Some people don't have this luxury, but I wake up at 6.30. I wake up at 6.30. Go to the gym, or for a run, or for my session with my PT, whatever, whatever it is that I'm doing. And then I come back, I shower, I eat, and I have lectures until five o'clock. No, this poor overworked girl. She just works so hard. Oh no, they just overwork us now. And then once I finish those lectures, I need to catch up on the material because there's a lot of the time where I'm just like, I didn't quite get that, I don't understand it, I need to go over it, make notes and stuff like that. She is diligent, thorough and precise. You could have really used that to bump up your pass score for your master's degree. That, and then I try to spend time with my boyfriend and I don't go to bed until like 12 or 1. I run on like 5 hours of sleep. This is giving me I need to tell people I donate to charity vibes. Because I'm just so busy. Busy in my sweats and comfy socks all day. Because <laughs> I need to prepare for the next day, I need to prepare for my lectures, I need to, you know, prepare what I'm going to be doing. If I'm filming, I need to edit. If I'm not editing, I need to be scheduling. Oh, so time management skills like everyone else. Thanks, genius. It's a lot. Do you know how much I would give for one week of waking up at two and doing nothing? How much, Queen? How much? Please let me know. I'm just dying to know. You're such a hardworking queen. You know what? You do whatever you like to do. It's none of one word business, you know? But in my personal opinion, I always think about it kind of like, if it costs me so little, how much did it cost for you to make it? How much did you pay the people making it? And I'm not sure if that's like a good um, logical sort of way to follow it. Maybe it doesn't apply to everything, so do let me know. But that's just what I've always been like. I hope but that's just what I've always been like. I always thought, for example, with like fast fashion, um, if I can get a dress for a pound, how much did it cost to make that dress? How much was it to, you know, deliver that dress, to ship that dress? And then how much was it to actually pay the people who are working to make that dress? And is that fair and is that okay and is that kind of ethical? Or can I maybe choose something else that's a bit more ethical if I can and if my circumstances allow me to? My personal circumstances usually allow me to do that, so I try to be a bit more mindful where my money is going. And I've really been trying to do that for the past like six months or so. For the past like six months or so. But that's just what I've always been like. I always thought, for example, for the past like six months or so. And that's just the fact. So. So for the past six months, or always been like. And this date is important because you will see very soon she is going to purchase lots of fast fashion. I basically went out and bought like a shit ton of bootleg t-shirts. Um, and I have no idea what those t-shirts are because I forgot. <laughs> I have decided to open them up in front of yours truly. I have decided to have a look at what they are and um, show you guys.
So are you for fast fashion? Are you against fast fashion? Sarah, you really need to go outside and touch grass.